Now is the session for Group C. Before we begin, it's our tradition to announce the rules of the pitch. Each team has six minutes. It will be timed. Timekeeper will notice you with the board at the last three minutes and will notice you again at the last one minute. When time is up, our staff will raise the board to remind you. We will cut speaker off when it runs over time for 10 seconds. When you finish the presentation, please go to the photo booth outside of the hall to take a picture. And the next two teams, please stand by near the stage. And now that's welcome. Intelli Clinic. Intelli Clinic, their service is Neurum. Neurum is a revolutionary wearable mask that analyzes human sleep and improves its quality. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. Um, we have a San Francisco company called Intelli Clinic, and this is our first product, which is called Neurum. It's an intelligent sleep mask. So what the, what the new room does is that it re, when you wear it to sleep at night, it reads a bunch of biometric data, and then it provides you with sleep analytics and bright light therapy. And so this is to help you sleep better at night, to net more effectively, and to fight circadian rhythm disorders such as insomnia and jet lag. And so customer problems. So everyone knows insomnia is a big problem. Um, a lot of people have problems falling asleep. And now more and more recently, there's this phenomenon known as social jet lag. And so when people use a lot of phones and computers that emit blue light, it actually artificially suppresses your melatonin levels and gives you problems falling asleep at night. That's why Apple recently released the research kit where you can turn off your blue light at night so that it'll help you not have insomnia problems. And so other customer problems like jet lag, um, lack of a credible sleep tracker and shift working are all problems that we can solve. And so um, the solution is based on scientific research. So bright light therapy has been around for about 20, 30 years from Harvard. And so continuous light therapy has been used for seasonal affective disorder, um, and then with the advent of new um, biosignal processing with Fitbit, and at the start of this year, Stanford released a new paper talking about how flashing lights can be used to treat jet lag. And so how that works is that when you at night, when you're sleeping, and when we flash light through your closed eyelids, it actually triggers this part of your brain called a supercharismatic nucleus. And so this helps you regulate the melatonin levels in your body. And so this can help you treat circadian rhythm disorders like insomnia and jet lag. And so um, how our device works is that we pick up a bunch of biometric data. So we pick up one channel EEG, which is your brain waves, pick up your heart rate, your blood oxygen level, temperature, and body movement. And then based on that, we provide you with a bright light therapy to help you treat um, circadian rhythm disorders that you might have. And so uh, we passed all major certifications, as you can see. And right now we're running our own clinical trials at Henry Ford Hospital. So Henry Ford Hospital is where the U.S. National Sleep <coughs> Foundation is based out of. And so we're running it with their former director. And so what we do is that um, we have 50 patients, they wear the device, and then we measure how much we can shift their melatonin cycle by. So it's been shown with our device, we can shift by about an hour and a half to three hours in a single night. And so as you can see on the most left, you get a device called a polysomnogram. So if you ever go to a hospital and um, get a sleep test done, you have to hook yourself up to like, a lot of electrodes all over your face and your body, and these are wet electrodes. So when you take them off, it actually pulls hair off with it. And so on the right, our device is a lot more portable, it's dry, it's comfortable. And in terms of accuracy, you can see the top line and the bottom line. So the top line is actually the medical grade, and the bottom line is our line. So you can see it's very similar. We get about a 95% accuracy to a hospital device. And this is how the app looks like. So on the most left, you can see it, um, it's like a wall map. And so by reading your brain waves, we can tell like which time zone your body is in, and we can shift your body clock to fix your jet lag or insomnia. On the right, you can see um, it's uh, sleep analytics where we tell you how much deep sleep you have, how much light sleep, how much RAM, and how you can improve it. And another feature that a lot of people like is actually the neuron sunrise. So in the morning, we wake you up with light. And so it's been shown, research has shown that if you're woken up with light in the morning, you actually wake up a lot more refreshed, you're a lot more alert, and you don't feel groggy. And so to our team, so um, our founding team, there's four of us. So Camille, our CEO, he's a doctor. He did about four years in sleep and neuroscience research. And then um, Thomas, he did applied economics at Stanford. Then Ushal CTO, he did a PhD in electronics where he read the brainwaves through dry electrodes. So he actually won the best PhD thesis around the world by Texas Instrument in 2011, the third place for it. Yep, and then I went to Cal. Um, yep, and so some numbers about us. Um, we actually sold, the numbers should be 8,000 plus devices now. And we shipped over 5,000 devices. So that gives us about more than 2.3 million in sales. 
And this year, we're actually projecting a $3 million revenue this year. And so in terms of the sleep market, so this is the US sleep market, there should be some graphs there. But yeah, so um, it's currently worth $60 billion, and it's supposed to grow to $80 billion. So these are made up of mattresses and pillows. So for sleep devices like ours, it'll be about $10 billion market. And this is just US alone. And so in terms of competition, on the left you have um, devices that don't enforce your body clock, just do tracking like Fitbit. So these are generally inaccurate trackers because they're based off of accelerometers and like heart rate. And so this gives you about 30% accuracy compared to brain waves. So what we do is that we use the brain waves like hospital devices. And then on the right you have devices that just do light therapy, but they don't track you. So very generic solutions. For well, ours is a personalized solution based on your like, own brain waves and we provide the light therapy. And so key milestones, uh, we raised a Kickstarter two years ago um, of half a million dollars. In 2015, at the Cleveland Clinic, we had a soft sleep conference where a bunch of sleep doctors judged us. We won the best sleep startup. And this year at South by Southwest, we won the best product launched. Um, right now, we have signed agreements with six airlines. Um, have the mask on with first in business class. So the first partnership is actually on 1st of July with Lufthansa. So for first in business class, there are 50 new ones on board. The next one is Lot Polish Airlines, Star Alliance. Um, 1st August, three flights every single day from, from Poland to the United States. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can get some Taiwanese airlines too. And um, another key milestone is that we've just finished the Plug and Play Health Program by Johnson & Johnson. We were awarded the best health startup by Johnson & Johnson. Um, right now we are part of Pfizer. Pfizer pays for our office space in San Francisco. So they're paying it for six months. We're part of um, UC Berkeley Skydive Accelerator. And upcoming in September, we're actually running clinical trials with Johnson & Johnson with the Human Performance Institute. So this is their corporate wellness unit where all employees go through. And so after that, um, after the clinical trials are successful, we can be part of the Johnson & Johnson ecosystem. And in other exciting news, um, we also work with NBA teams like Golden State Warriors and Sacramento Kings. And yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler Clinic.